What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we have major, major news. As undefeated two-division world champion, former unified undisputed lightweight world champion, now the reigning WBC junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney. Devin the Dream Haney is... Now, 31 wins, no loss, no draw. 15 wins by way of knockout. 25 years of age. 5'9", with a 72-inch arm reach. He and former lightweight, now junior welterweight, Mexican-American superstar title contender, King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, who is now 24 wins, no, 24 wins, one loss, no draw. 20 wins by way of knockout. He is... 25 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach. They agreed now to a showdown. They're facing each other. They're negotiating to fight each other. They come to the understanding that they should just go ahead and fight each other. Now we know Devin the Dream Haney, he has been chasing undefeated three division, five time world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely acknowledged and recognized as. One of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing, in Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is 29 wins, no loss, no draw. 27 big wins by way of knockout. 29 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach. With that said, that's the loss, the blemish that Ryan Garcia has on his resume. But Ryan Garcia highlights that he just simply was not himself. He had a rehydration clause. He fought at a catch weight. He wasn't committed to the sport of boxing. That was April 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. He got dropped in the second round and knocked out in the seventh round. With that said, Devin Haney has been chasing a fight with Javante Tank Davis. It makes for the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. Devin Haney versus Javante Tank Davis is the biggest fight in the sport of boxing, right? But they hit a snag, and I'm going to discuss that in my next video. They hit a major snag that's not going to allow that fight to happen next right and so with that said now Devin Haney is going to go ahead and stay active and continue to carve out his own legacy niche now Ryan Garcia on the other hand he's already had the opportunity he came up short whether he should not have accepted the uh rehydration clause a 10 pound rehydration clause whether he should not have accepted the uh, catch weight of 136 after he was two years and two fights removed from fighting at 140. He shouldn't have accepted those things. He did. He had dared to be great. He attempted to be great. He went down. He conceded to everything they wanted to make the fight happen. And he came up short. And he also let us know he was not committed to the sport of boxing like he should have been. Now he's committed and he wants to be a world champion. Nonetheless, he came up short. Things happen. He is still attempting to be great. You can't do nothing but praise Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, after he's labeled a social media a fighter and a celebrity boxer and so on and so forth, Ryan Garcia is attempting to chase greatness. He did it. He proved it with Javante Tank Davis. He came up short, but this is what we ask of the fighters. We ask for the fighters to do what? Give us the best versus the best. That's what Ryan Garcia, he's considered one of the four kings. He's considered one of the best fighters in the world. So guess what Ryan Garcia is attempting to do? You got it. Give us the best fighting the best. Whether he comes up short or not. Whether you think he's just a celebrity athlete or not. He attempts to do so. And that has to be applauded. Salute to Ryan Garcia. Salute to his father, trainer, and manager, Henry Garcia. Only thing we can do is salute them, right? Ryan Garcia told us he wanted to fight Tank Davis. Guess what he did? Fighting Tank Davis. He stated that he wanted to chase and fight Rolando Roly Romero. Guess what he did? He attempted to fight Rolando Roly Romero for the WBA title, and he was met with a no. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> so with that said, Ryan Garcia, he stuck to his word. He's a man of his word, and we can't do nothing but, again, applaud it. He stated that, if I can't get Roley, I want Devin Haney. Who should I do? Who should I fight? Excuse me. Who should I fight? 
who should I fight first? Should it be Roley, then Devin, or Devin, then Roley? Because he wants to now set his sights on becoming a world champion. It was a point in time when Ryan Garcia was so focused on his brand and his, his image outside the sport of boxing and building up his brand and his name that he wasn't focused on becoming a world champion. Hence the reason why he's never fought for a world title. So obviously he's never won a world title because you have to be in it to win it, right? And so with that said, Ryan Garcia is now focused on becoming a world champion. He said it's about building his legacy. He already got the money. He got the hard, the cars, the fame, the houses, right? He said that does nothing for him. He has his faith and he wants to now build his legacy to become one of the best boxers in history, right? And so with that said, Ryan Garcia says he wants to become a world champion. And Roley has the WBO WBA title, but Roley is not willing to give him the opportunity. So he put the poll up. He said, should I go off to Devin? Should I go off to Ryan? Roley. Roley turned him down. Guess what he did? He contacted his team. He contacted his promoter. He told him, do what you can to make the fight happen with Devin Haney. Now, we already know the history of Devin the Dream Haney because Devin Haney was chasing the world champions before when Ryan Garcia was just a twinkle in the eye of the lightweight and dream welterweight division. When Javante Tank Davis was just a twinkle in the eye of the sport of boxing world, he was a 126-pounder, okay? When Teofimo Lopez was just a twinkle in the eye at one light 135, he was chasing the champions there, Mikey Garcia, Robert Easter Jr., Adrian the Problem Broner. These are the fighters that Devin Haney was chasing at that time. And they said, no, nah, not yet. This is when Lomachenko was still at 126. No, young buck, you're not ready yet. You're still a little bit wet behind the ears. You know, you're not ready yet. No, okay, young fella. They they, they you know, give him a little love tap, pat, pat. You know, you're, not, you're just simply not ready yet, right? And so, uh, 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 with that said, right? You know, um, Devin Haney has been chasing greatness for this entire time. He's been chasing greatness for this entire time, right? And he's been looking to be great this entire time. And when Teofimo Lopez beat Lomachenko and became the unified champion and Devin Haney was the WBC champion, guess what? Devin Haney chased Teofimo Lopez and that was met with a big no. So... He chased Devin uh, uh, Tiafimo Lopez. Then Tiafimo Lopez lost to Cambosis. He chased Cambosis all the way to Australia, became undisputed all the way in Australia, not once but twice. Then he fought Lomachenko, beat Lomachenko. Finally got the opportunity. Now he was chasing Lomachenko as well, who pushed him off again. Lomachenko said, no, 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 no. I'll wait. You're not ready yet. You're too green. I'm focused on becoming undisputed. Then he lost to Tiafimo Lopez. Then Devin Haney chased Tiafimo Lopez. Then Tiafimo Lopez, he lost to George Cambosis. Then he chased George Cambosis, who was trying to give Lomachenko back the opportunity, pass the baton back to Lomachenko. But then Lomachenko, unforeseen, unfortunate chain of events took place between Russia and the Ukraine. Lomachenko focused on that, him being a Ukrainian fighter. And guess what? George Cambosis, he fell on Devin Haney. Then he lost twice to Devin Haney. So Devin Haney was trying to chase these guys. For, he became undisputed and then said, listen, I want to fight Javante Tank Davis. Well, guess what Javante Tank Davis is? The WBA regular champion. Javante Tank Davis had the opportunity to fight Devin Haney, make himself the mandatory. They said, Javante Tank Davis team, they said, he's not ready yet. The fight ain't ready to happen. It'll happen, not yet. So, now they're cowering out their own path. And so what did Ryan Garcia do? He had them contact Devin Haney team. What did Devin Haney, his father, trainer, manager, CEO, a DHP, Devin Haney promotion, Bill Haney, what did they do? They picked up the phone. They picked up the phone. And now they're negotiating. Just like that. They picked up the phone and now they're negotiating. And they both confirmed these negotiations. They both confirmed the agreement to fight each other. Now, there was a time when Ryan Garcia was the mandatory for Devin Haney and he didn't take the fight, but that's because he stated that he was looking for a fight with Javante Tank Davis and that fell through. And then he had uh, health issues that he had to deal with. He was outside the ring, you know, for a while. Nonetheless, he came back and he's doing what he said. He's fighting the best, attempting to fight the best. Now, they have history. They have a big history. They fought six times in the amateurs. 
It's reported that they're three and three. Three wins to Ryan, three wins to Devin Haney. So they have a history. They know each other. They're very familiar with one another. They're the same age. They're boxer punchers. Ryan is more of a boxer puncher than Devin Haney is. But Devin Haney's more as a skilled tactician, uh, twitchy fighter. Ryan is a fast hands power puncher, combination puncher, explosive. So with that said, right? They have come to an agreement to fight one another. That is huge. That is enormous. And it happened just like that. Now, people ask me, is this fight going to be bigger than Devin and Tank? I don't believe so. And the reason I don't believe so is because Ryan Garcia took a loss. Uh, there's a lot of answers that needs to be answered. A lot of questions that need to be answered from Ryan Garcia. And, uh, you know, he has to rebuild himself up. So, therefore... It will do, I believe, enormous numbers, but do it match Tank and Devin? No. Does it reach Tank and Ryan? I don't believe so because, again, we already seen Ryan take a loss in the sport of boxing. The fans are fickle like that, right? Uh, one loss and they'll throw you away. And so people already deem Ryan to be knocked out, damaged goods. Uh, they'll make excuses. Ryan is rebuilding himself. Uh, and so because of that, it'll fall short of... Tank and Ryan, and I believe, and, and Tank and Devin is the biggest fight in boxing. But it's going to be an enormous fight, period. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.